It's Jennifer Lonis, and I'm here to educate Yins on how we can transform our sketch notes into student curated content. So an in-class discussion uh, that was chronicled by Javian recorded a few of our stories. Daria shared this interesting experience where her grandfather enlisted underage, similarly to this young sailor, Calvin Graham. So Graham was only 12 years old when he served aboard the USS South Dakota. Now, Daria's grandfather was 15, but a quick alteration of his birth certificate made it look like he was 18 years old. Now, when Daria's grandfather returned from the war, he found himself in a fairly common scenario, feeling the effects of post-traumatic stress. However, when looking at this documentary, Let There Be Light, and the subsequent article from the Smithsonian, we can see that PTSD during World War II was a fairly taboo topic. The students were very interested in looking at World War II by the numbers, so we checked out this great secondary source from CNN chronicling the Manhattan Project, and the sheer size of the project, the cost, and the level of destruction. Together, let's go ahead and create a hyperlink utilizing the resources found on the World War II Museum website. So I'm selecting a shape that I'll highlight Javian's drawing, and we'll have to make this transparent. And then you can have some fun with some of the design elements here. You can choose these pretty, oh, that's awesome possum, uh, neat elements where you can make it either solid lines or cut out. And all we have to do is to add a hyperlink. And our hyperlink will take us to the World War II Museum website where we can check out Pearl Harbor at a glance. And this is neat because students can connect to primary sources, such as propaganda posters. This is one, a great profile and courage of Dory Miller. And students can also get a closer look of the backstory and the lead up to the Pearl Harbor attacks, as well as to check out Pearl Harbor by the numbers. You know, sketch notes are a great way of personalizing the learning experience for students. And when we use hyperlinks to connect us to uh, primary and secondary sources online, this only serves to stoke the fires of learning. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Check it out again on Twitter, at EducateYins.